Jeff Fischel here on the ACC Digital Network, brought to you by Ruby Tuesday. We're talking NC State baseball, a team that was preseason top 10 in the country. They're not there right now. Let's bring in ACC DN baseball analyst Sean McNally, former Duke baseball coach. And Mac, I know you talk with Elliot Avent a lot. What are the three things you know? You've seen this team a lot as well. What are the three things he'd really like to fix about this team because they're not playing the way he had expected? Well, certainly... Elliot Avent doing everything he can up at NC State, try to get this group going. I think they've really had inconsistency outside of Carlos Rodon on Friday night, Saturday and Sunday. They haven't had clear answers in terms of their weekend rotation. That's the first thing. Secondly, their bullpen, that was such a strength with that run to Omaha last year for the Wolfpack, really haven't had guys step up and be able to shorten and close games down. And, and probably the biggest thing really has been their offense. He's juggled the lineup around a bunch. They certainly have some talented offensive players, but they just have not been able to string together guys getting hot at the right times. He's done a lot of different things, just need to get some timely hitting, find, timely hitting, find a way to score some two-out runs down the stretch. Like I said, you've seen this team. Are you surprised how much they've struggled to score? Well, yeah. I mean, last year, you know, they were very successful. They didn't score a ton, but they had some veteran guys that really got key hits and timely hits, and that's really been missing this year. And certainly they're running out of time, but – they continue to work exceptionally hard up in Raleigh, trying to find a way to make it happen. Yeah, Trey Turner, obviously potentially a first-round pick, barely hitting 300. I think he's just below 300 right now. We talked about Carlos Rodon. Everyone talks about Carlos Rodon. His ERA is right around two, but he's only three and seven. I guess that says a lot about what this team has gone through offensively as much as anything else. Well, no question. You've got the most dominant pitcher in college baseball. He's got a chance to be the first overall pick in the draft. He's three and seven, and that's crazy. I think two things happen. Number one, get caught a little bit standing around if you're NC State offensively. He's so good, and you know you don't have to score much. You press a little bit. You're watching him, and they just really haven't been able to focus offensively and find a way to put up some runs for him. That's number one. Number two, you got to give some credit to the guys that have pitched against him. I think they raise their level when you face the big guy. The Friday night starters on the opposing clubs really have been outstanding, and NC State just has not had a margin and have not found a way to consistently – put up runs for the big guy. Certainly, Carlos Rodon has done his part and has gotten better and better as this season has gone along. All right, the, the pack still has Coastal Carolina for three and three-game series with Wake, Virginia Tech, and some non-conference games as well. Can this team get into the regionals? Can they make the field of 64? It can be done. They have absolutely no margin for error. I think they pretty much have to win out at this point. Certainly, they can take advantage of that ACC schedule down the stretch. Very difficult. We're not playing top-notch competition to really get that bump in the RPI you need. But you know, in terms of taking care of business, they've got to win out and see what happens. Uh, they're 9-15 and 15 in the conference. Their RPI is in the 60s. Sean McNally, thank you very much. And again, I will see you in Greensboro in a couple weeks for the ACC tournament. Sounds great. Thanks, Jeff.